welcome into to today's video. I don't know why I'd be looking blue in the camera. Uh, good morning. I'll show you what's going on. Gabby is making her famous pancakes. I don't like when Gabby eats I pancakes. The, why I don't the know? recipe off Google. Why do I not like when you eat pancakes? I don't know. You're just a hater. <laughs> I don't know where she gets that from. Too soon. Too soon, you guys. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to today. I was making pancakes. I don't like her to eat them but because it makes her aggressive. It makes her angry. Like, it happens to me too. If I eat too many, too much sugar or too much coffee, it makes me aggressive and... No, it's just the cooking. Yeah, and uh, anyway, she's doing that just at the time that we're meant to be leaving to go to the barn. So we're getting ready, but before we do, I just want to tell you a magic trick that I, that I know, that I have. I'm also trying to use a new tripod. And I don't know if it's gonna work, but anyways, oh, no. so I have this uh, magical ability to be able to feel Feel stuff that you shouldn't normally feel like I was putting a battery in the camera today I had two batteries and I picked them both up and when I picked up one it felt light and when I picked up the other one It felt heavy two exact batteries one was charged one was not and I was able to tell which one was charged That might seem weird you guys might be like that's so dumb you can't do that but it happens to me all the time. It's this weird phenomenon. So, uh, the same thing happens with my uh, phone. So sometimes when I pick up my phone, it feels heavy and full and like it has too much stuff on it. And then when I like delete stuff or I uh, transfer stuff over onto my computer and it's empty and I pick it up, it feels empty. Like maybe it's just craziness. I don't know, but I can feel that stuff. I uh, accidentally, I had to add more flour into the mixture. But, um, I, I didn't fully close it. feels like it's smoking, Gabby. And I didn't fully close it. Oh my gosh, you got flour everywhere. We actually have a really crazy week this week. I'm excited that we finally burn. actually have burn. stuff. Ah, oh, shoot, it burned. <laughs> I told her. I told her. <laughs> it's Sophia's. But anyways, we actually have a lot of stuff happening this week. I think like four different things like that we wouldn't normally be doing because of COVID but that we get to do. I'm excited to share all of them. Some of the things have been things that you guys have been wanting us to do for a really, really, really long time and I'm excited to do them. I'm excited to see how it goes. Um, anyway, let's go. I'm just gonna finish eating and we're gonna meet you guys at the barn. All right, we're late. We're running late and we're waiting for Gabby. What? I just keep telling everybody that we've seen this last week I'm like, we're all just standing around, and they're like, why are we standing here? We're waiting for Gabby. But something crazy happened. Gabby got mail. Maybe a little late, but this is mail for her birthday. It says, you are special. So don't forget, Gabby, you are special. We're still waiting for Gabby, though. All right, so Gabby's like, Gabby just comes walking out of the car, out of the house. Sam honks the horn. She's just walking nonchalantly. She has said before that she feels pressure when we honk the horn. Yeah, that's the point. All right, Gabs. Dun -da -da -da. for you. Okay. She's not even gonna open it. Are you gonna open it? Yeah. Like she gets mail every day. This is the, this is non-coffee, Gabby. Why are you videoing me? I don't like to video. I don't have good reactions. Gabby does not have good reactions. She's not able to fake it, which is part of the reason why I she... hate getting gifts. The surprise and everybody watching me and expecting me to cry over it. Or be excited and say thanks so much. Oh yay! Woohoo! What is that? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Thank you, Craig and Elizabeth. It's for her birthday, and it's true. Gabby is not like she doesn't like to show emotion. Don't know where she gets that from at all. Because I am an emotional person. All right, we are here, and our horses are far. All right, get electrocuted, sister. Woo! I forgot that the oh, some fence is on, and I walked through it. I bet no, All right, let's go this way. I both of them. I was running when I injured my left one, and then I did something to my right one when I heard it. Right, we are entering Narnia. No, you gotta go through the wardrobe. You gotta go through the wardrobe. Lead us through the wardrobe, Gabby. This is not a wardrobe. This is not a wardrobe. Silly Laura, how do you not know? Yeah, it's like the hottest day and Gabby's wearing that and Sophie's wearing that. We're all in need of new clothing. We need new shoes so badly, you guys. But in Canada, shoes and clothing are called, considered non-essential currently. So you can't buy them. You can't go to the store. You can't go to the mall. You can't go to Walmart and buy them. 
No shoes, no clothes, no toys. Just good old fashioned food. Which is why we might be a little chubbier than normal. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's so beautiful here though. Like it is hot as heck out there. But in here, it's oh, just glorious. And except for the trees, the attacking trees. We're coming. <laughs> Gabby's like, there's too many bees out there. Show the carrots. I broke mine. She broke her carrot. I got a carrot. Gino. Stormy boy. Come on, Storm. Which one is bending its front leg to put its head I see some horses. dragging the lead rope. All right. We're still dragging the lead rope. All right, you think Storm's going to come to me? Or you think we should... All right, let's get walking. <laughs> Gabby's like, Chino, I have asthma. <laughs> I know. Oh, Finn's walking off. I literally can't even find our horse. I see Finn. That's Finn's the only one I can tell. I always look for the sparse tail. Wow, is that Chino over there? He looks so tan, like light colored. Oh, and look, oh, that's not Finn. Where's Finn? Oh, over there. Finn always goes to Chino to keep him safe. Hey, handsome. Look how shiny you are. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice that you waited the whole time till I got all the way here. Would you like a bite of my carrot? Just a bite. Good boy. How are the bugs? Not too bad, eh? You're doing good? Every time we bring them back from the back field, Gabby makes us let them drink. <laughs> Sometimes they get like way back in that field and they don't come here for just a drink like they wait until they're coming back for a reason and so it's just good to let them have a drink before they get stuck inside for an hour okay so i'm going to take a few seconds to explain the burning question that is stormy boy what is wrong with storm i'm actually surprised you guys even think something's wrong with him to be honest like i think you're thinking because he's been like a little bit I don't know. There's two separate issues I think that you guys are seeing and it's confusing to you because you guys don't know Storm and you don't know the whole situation. So I'm going to try and fix that. So one, I think that you guys think that Storm's unhappy and in pain because the way Gabby was using the spurs. This is what I'm going to say about that. Uh, Gabby wants Storm to be the horse that she needs and he's never going to be that and she's learned that and she has decided that he's gonna be her trail horse and her fun horse and that's the way it has to be and that is why we bought Chino. But before she discovered that and before we were able to explain that to her, she did try to get him, one last attempt to get him to move and do and be assertive and be forward and be all the things that she wanted him to be. And she used spurs and it was about maybe an eight week period that she used them and he did get angry every single time she used them and though that wasn't a pain response so but i think those are two totally separate things so the last couple of months with the spurs was an anger response and there are a lot of reasons why we know this because we know storm and and storm always responds that way to any pressure not even spurs if she clicks too many times like even me she'll say don't click again like he, you told him what to do let him do it if you click again he will do a little buck like he doesn't like clicking too many times. He doesn't like squeezing too many times. He doesn't like pressure. He doesn't like to be told what to do. And I know that's really hard for some people to understand. It is easy for us to understand because we've talked to his old owners and they all say the same kind of things. And they all say he's a grouchy old man. And not that I am saying that if your horse is acting like a grouchy old man, it means that he's just grouchy and he doesn't have pain issues or problem issues. I'm not saying that. I'm saying specifically with the spurs and the pressure and Gabby trying to get him to move forward and be the horse she wanted, he was reacting in anger. Uh, the problem with him kicking out for lead changes, um, our trainers have told us from the very beginning, because he's always done that, is usually, usually, because of momentum to like, switch the lead you usually have to be going fast enough and lots of times he's really slow and he's not going fast enough so he needs that extra umph to get him over and okay maybe some of you guys don't understand that because you're you've never been in this exact situation but that's my understanding of the whole situation okay now fast forward to recently as in the last two months which actually storm that's disgusting storm you just nodded on me so the last two months storm actually has had a 
minor issue, something we're working through, but not something that is kissing spine, not something that means he needs back injection. He needs like a nose cleaning, I think. None of those things. You guys might remember when we first bought Storm and he literally was, took us so long, took us two years to get him to move in the way that we wanted him to move. And he didn't, wasn't doing anything horrible, but people were complaining all the time. They thought his neck was bad. They thought his back was bad. They thought all these things. And what it was, what it ended up being, was that he, his confirmation is this weird. And it took us two years and our farrier finally hit on something by accident that worked for him. And so most of the last year, well like last year and a half, this boy's been fabulous. And, and you guys know recently, like four months ago maybe, we changed farriers. And the, and the change in the farrier has been fantastic for Chino. There's like a whole other thing with Chino. Like this new farrier has been fantastic with Chino. The way he does feet works so good for Chino. Chino needs what this guy has to offer and it's been fabulous. But it set us back with Storm. And so we've been working the last, this is the fourth time, but we've been wet working the last three months to try and make Storm's feet better again. And it, we're, it's a process, you guys. And the only symptom that he has that his feet aren't working for him is that his back gets sore more often more often not anything serious just stuff that would cause him to look a certain way and we would be like oh he needs the chiropractor and that's where we're where we are now he's just back at that he's back at we need to figure out his feet and get him so he's normal again but never for a second did i think that people were going to start thinking he needed back injections and that like i never thought that people even though you guys don't believe this i always think that you guys know exactly what you're what you're talking about I always believe you guys. I always think that when you watch a video, you can look and say, oh, Storm needs a chiropractor again. His feet are whatever they did with the farrier isn't working for him. Like, I always believe that you guys can see stuff because you always say that you can see stuff. But I've been learning that often the things that you guys see is different than what is actually our reality. And I think a lot of that is because we all have different experiences with our horse, horses and sometimes how we do things and in this area how we do things is different from how you've learned it. And so um, what you see is going to be different based on your experience. I don't know. Hopefully that helps. It's been a long video just of talking. Let's get on with the rest of this day. And if you have any constructive comments or questions please leave them down below it's just when it gets overwhelming and people are hating and by hate i mean saying mean mean things if you have not been blocked by me then i do not consider you saying hateful things um that's when it gets overwhelming but if you have actual questions or or things that you think could help us please feel free to comment them below today? yeah let's do it today so i ordered something fun so hopefully uh what you guys are seeing here um, is going to be, are going to be something that we have in our videos often. Ooh, it is! Wait! I can't wait to get Kaylee here. Your dad's going to have to help you with it. It's so heavy! Yeah, we're going to go to the top of the hill and do it. Careful, look at you're putting them on scissors, sister. I can't wait to kill Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to die. <laughs> You guys probably don't know what these are, Just but you're about to find out. Arm. All right. It was a boring day. Whoa, morning. look at that, you guys. I've been wanting these for so long. Daddy. You're gonna have to get your dad to help you with them. Oh my, wait, that sounds so satisfying. That sounds so satisfying. Mmm, I love the smell of plastic. Oh, that's where I get them from. <laughs> it's like kind of like cocaine. We're gonna show you guys what we got and what we're gonna use them for and uh yeah so that it's gonna be a good photo look at my girl she been looking she been looking young all right you guys this is it that is super cool penny's interested 
She's like, you just let me know if you need me to save you. <laughs> Gracie's back there. She's like, don't call on me. I'll be hiding over here. Right, so we got these bubbles. And basically, the girls are gonna fight. Yeah, go ahead. All right, we are ready, you guys. <laughs> oh my God. Sophie's having a meltdown. We got Gabby versus Sophie in our first ever <laughs> bubble fight. <laughs> you gotta run at each other. <laughs> You're rolling down here. Yeah, you need to have your head up good. Your turn. No, I'm not doing it. Do it without your glasses. No way. Roll down the hill with it. I'm old. I might break. I want to roll down the hill. Okay, right. we'll go get it on. You. Stand up. <laughs> She's got it. Oh, she did it. Use your knees. 